Noisy Pixel. What's up, nerds, and welcome to another Noisy News Week for the week of July 25th, 2020. Here's where I fill you in on some notable news posted to NoisyPixel.net this past week. And I'm just going to jump right into it today, guys, because the Suikoden creator, Yoshitaka Murayama, has shared the news. They are going to kickstart a new RPG called Yuden Chronicle 100 Heroes. The game will be developed by Rabbit and Bear Studios. This is the creator's newest kind of venture. It is formed of other developers from other JRPGs. He worked on like the Alliance Alive and most recently also Warriors Orochi 4. So, I mean, he's still in the industry, still writing scenarios, and this game is basically Suikoden. Fully realized in like a 2.5D world, the characters look like they were ripped from Suikoden 2. They plan to release the game in 2020. They are going to launch a Kickstarter asking for $500,000 to fund the PC version. And I think they're asking like a million to do all the other consoles, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and Nintendo. Whatever Nintendo's console is in 2020, if they release a new one or not. But anyway, very excited about this game, guys. My memories with Suikoden are when I was like 10 or 11, I remember renting it from Blockbuster and having an amazing weekend with my brother just collecting these random soldiers and building up our base and we thought it was like this really amazing game because we're like what is going on all these characters like these sim elements and building up our shops and it was a good time very good series if you haven't played it don't worry it's not that good to go back i mean i wouldn't spend a hundred dollars to play so we get in or i wouldn't spend three hundred dollars to play so we get in two so I mean, what you do with your money is on you. Regardless, watch a Let's Play. Continuing with the awesome news, X-Play might be back. G4 released a teaser trailer. A little more on this, Noisy Pixel in general is um, inspired by G4 and X-Play. I grew up watching it and I love their kind of nonchalant punk rock approach to the game industry. And that's kind of what we do here. Just like, we'll give you what we want to give you, and if you don't like it, well, you can just get out. No, thank you for sticking around though, and forming this with us. But yeah, we are definitely inspired by X-Play and G4, and I'm excited to see what they do and if they continue their approach. They did a Wild Arms Alter Code F review one time, and it's probably on YouTube, literally. The greatest review I've ever watched that game. So whatever happens from that, we'll be sure to let you know. Moving on to game news, Humble Bundle announced that the Endless Fluff developed Tactics RPG Fate Tactics, the girl who destroyed the world, will launch on PC on July 31st. The Nintendo Switch version will release at a later date. Modus Games announced that a demo is available now for the Dreams Incorporated Adventure RPG Chris Tells. The demo has been previously available on PC and now it is on PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. So if you want to test out this game, I do urge you to do so. We have a preview on the site as well. Atlas broke the internet by announcing that Shin Megami Tensei 5 is still in development and will be an exclusive Nintendo Switch release in 2021. This game looks dope. We're all fans of the SMT series here, so whatever news comes from this game, you can expect us to be on it. Continuing with the Shin Megami Tensei news, they are releasing Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remastered on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch for a spring 2021 release. The game is coming to Japan like later this year, so we do have to wait a while for this game. The game is like updated visuals and balanced systems. Not sure if Dante from Devil May Cry will be in this release, but that would be funny if they do it because that meme has been 
ongoing for a while now. Koei Tecmo tried to break the internet, but ended up just filling my heart with joy with their announcement that Atelier writes a 2, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy is in development for PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC for a winter release later this year. And I'm just, I just want to spend more time with Raitza, to be honest with you guys. And I don't care about anything else right now. Exceed announced that the Edelweiss developed action adventure Sakuna of Rice and Ruin will launch on PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC worldwide on November 10th. This is kind of a 2D action game with this girl and she has a scarf and it's really cool, man. And then there's like farming sim elements. But I've been playing this game for the past like three years at different events and I'm just really excited for it to finally come out. So be on the lookout for more on that. Alice continued with their announcements by saying that 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim will be delayed on PlayStation 4 in the West until September 22nd. This is so they can implement the previously patch of the English voiceover. So the game was going to come out on September 8th. The English voiceover patch would have to have waited. So now they're going to delay the game so that it launches with the patch. So you'll have English and Japanese audio when the game releases. I guess that's cool. Idea Factory announced that Death End Request 2 will launch early on PC via Steam on August 18th. The PS4 release will still be on August 25th. Right now, I think most people are waiting for the PC release because of the glitch costumes that are uncensored in that version. I mean, uncensored, not really, because it is like that in Japan, but uncensored from the first game. My Dearest announced that a VR sequel for Tokyo Kronos is in development called Alt Deus Beyond Kronos for a Oculus launch later this year. Hopefully it comes to PSVR. This game looks a little more animated than Tokyo Kronos, which is steel frames of people, but it is a VR visual novel. I'm excited to see how the studio has grown and how they've improved. Adult Swim Games announced that their action adventure Samurai Jack Battle Through Time will release on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC on August 21st. Goddamn, I love Samurai Jack. It is one of the best Cartoon Network shows that kind of fueled my middle school life and I'm really excited to see it in 2020. Kind of all the voice actors too reprising their role. This is really cool. MiHoYo announced that their open world RPG Genshin Impact will launch in October on PC and iOS and Android devices. No news on the console release. This is a free to play game though, so there's gotcha systems. We'll be sure to let you know when the official release date is. Coco Cucumber revealed their newest game called Echo Generations. They previously did Riverbond, if you've played that. The game is in development for Xbox One and Xbox Series X and PC for a 2021 release. This game looks really cool. It's kind of like adventure and they kind of borrow that pixel 3D look that they did in Riverbond, but in a more RPG turn-based world. And I'm excited to see more. Square Enix made a strange announcement that they will be publishing a game from the Sonic the Hedgehog creators called Balan Wonderworld. And it looks like Sonic, not gonna lie, but I just need to see more. I'm a Sonic fan, guys, don't get me wrong, but Balan Wonderful, just Wonderful World, sorry. Balan Wonderful World. I don't know, I'm skeptical. The publisher continued announcements by saying Dragon Quest XI Echoes of Elusive Age S Definitive Edition will launch on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on December 4th. This is an upscaled version of the Nintendo Switch release from what I'm hearing. There's going to be nothing really new here. So if you've played the game on PS4, I don't really think you need to spend another 100 hours playing this game. But if you're an Xbox owner, this is the first Dragon Quest game that you'll ever be able to play because it's the first game that ever released on Xbox, which is exciting. Visual novel news is light this week. Alice Soft just announced that Evan Echo 2 Clinical Trial Edition will launch on PC via Steam on August 17th. They'll use this to collect feedback on their localization efforts 
and you'll be able to play through the first chapter. Your save data will not carry over, but you can romance one of the girls. Previews on the site. We have Fate Tactics. Reviews. We have Neon Cafe, Macchiato, Sexy Times at the Cat Cafe, Ghost of Tsushima, Panzar Paladin, Necro Barista, Samurai Showdown, Neo Geo Collection, Roki, Carry On, Mega Dimension, Neptunia V2 on Switch, and Paper Mario, The Origami King. Guys, that's it. That's the news. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. Play some games. Let me know in the comments anything you want. I'll try to get it for you. But within reason, we'll have some amazing stuff coming up next week, guys. I can't wait to share it with you. Thank you so much. Have a great week.